everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Noelle, and if you're new here, I am in nursing school. Yay! I'm also a mother and a wife, so if you're interested in following along with my journey, or if you're going through the same things, I would love for you to subscribe and just uh, follow along with me and comment below if you're new here, if you have applied for nursing school, or if you're wanting to be in nursing school, or how is it going? Are you still thriving? Or are you surviving? It's different every week for me. Okay, so in today's video, I just wanted to show y'all how I organize my binder, my nursing school binder, how after each unit exam, I will take that content out from that unit. So like unit one, it's already happened and I've already taken that test. I will move it from my main binder that I take back and forth between class and home to study and I'll put it in another binder for later on to study for the final exam or NCLEX or anything like that. So if you're interested in that, come on. So today we will be looking at one, two, and three binders. This is all just for one class. This is my main binder. You can see it's like not much in there. This is all um, just for one unit and this is currently what, what I'm putting all of my other past units in. This is my nursing school binder that I've been using this semester for fundamentals. Right when you open it up I've got our class uh, calendar. It just kind of breaks it down. And on the back is the next month. And then I have our lesson plan. And so at the beginning of the month, I had August, September. Now we're in October, that's what's left, November. And so I'll take each one of these out and just put it aside. And then I've just got some paper in here just for when I need it next. What I do after each, okay, so let me back up. I had two separate binders. I had a lecture binder and a lab binder, but I found it hard to keep up with two binders and then also have a binder for dosage and pharmacology. So I put them all together and as I've added more of what we're learning from our book, I now take out after each unit test, after the exam, I take out the unit and put it in another binder because I will need that information later on for our final exam and of course to study for the NCLEX. So unit four, that's where we were learning our, um, we had our drug cards, we learned about sleep, wet to dry dressings, that was some of our skills, learning about medication administration. And so I am just going to, and another thing that I like what our school has done is our book we also got tons of books that came with our tuition that are ebooks on Evolve, but our main fundamentals book is hole punched. And so it's nice to kind of make your own little binder. And so what I'm gonna do with this section, because we've already had our unit four test, which is mind blowing. So this is the second binder that I have been adding all of our unit exams to except for the exception that this little video binder it only has unit one information so it's there's a lot packed in there it's so only one unit could fit in this one and i also i got these binders they came in a one, two, three. It came in a four pack and I, I've really liked them. I love this right here versus where you have to, you know, it's like the metal prongs. I like how easy that is to open, how big it is. Cause sometimes at the store, it's harder to find a binder um, this uh, big. So if I can find that, I will link it below. So here I've just got unit two three, and now I'm about to add unit four. And also within each chapter, so let me go back. 
Like this is unit three. And I have these little dividers that I put in here. And this was one I had in my lab binder, but then I converted and combined everything. Okay, so each time we start a new chapter, I will add, um, just, I don't even know what you call these, but a way to know that each chapter starts. And I do not, like for, for each unit, I don't put them in here. So like this is chapter 30, this is chapter 29. This goes in order of the day that we learned it. And so that is how I put them in, in my own order, not necessarily in numerical order. It just, I find it easier um, to remember like, okay, Monday we did um, physical uh, health assessment, physical assessment, and then, you know, maybe Wednesday we did um, nursing assessment, stuff like that. So that's just how I do it. I know some people go crazy and color code and numerical order, but this is just what I do. I may later on have a specific color for when we do a skill. And if you heard that, that was my dog <laughs> that made that noise. I feel like not much is gonna last in here. Yeah, so this is the Oxford brand binders and I highly recommend. They've been really well. So I'm just putting in unit four. I know some people in my class, they make for each, like they have a small binder, something similar to like a one and a half inch, like this. And so for each unit they have, each unit exam, they have a different binder. I just, this right here was a binder one of my kids had from a previous year at school. So I just grabbed that, but that's a lot to keep up with in my opinion. So I just, I love that we have a book like this. It just, it makes it, to me, I don't know, it makes it easier. You can personalize it however you see fit, whatever helps you study best. Okay, not much room left, but I think this is good. You see how Thick it is, we got a little bit more room. And this is unit one. So units one through four are in both of these binders. And I'll show you all a little bit of unit five. I still have this divider for unit like six, but I don't have any of the chapters in there yet. And so I tried something different with this unit. For this unit, I used these different color tabs that I had. They're just a little bit more, they're start more sturdier. And I labeled them up here. I don't know if you can see that. You have urinary elimination. And then for chapter 42, you have fluid and electrolyte imbalances. Then chapter 47, you've got bowel elimination. What a fun class. <laughs> and then chapter 45 starts nutrition. And so that is all the chapters that we will have for the unit five test. I haven't highlighted anything yet or, um, well, the only thing that I have highlighted so far is like urinary elimination because this is the only class that we've had stuff on because we've had skills check offs. But this is just how I do my binder. Nothing to me really fancy or complicated. It's just a simple and easy way to organize and to keep all of your information um, together. 
in a very cohesive way. And that way for NCLEX or final exams, HESIs, anything like that, you can refer back to uh, your previous binders to review. Okay, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I've been wanting to make a video on how I organize my nursing binder. And again, I just want to say thank you all for being here and watching this and supporting my channel. It does mean the world to me. So if you would like to subscribe, please go ahead and do that now and give this video a like. Also, if you have any helpful tips on how you organize your binder, I know that I, myself, and others that read that information, it is helpful because sometimes like something that someone else does, you may not think of. That's when I go on Pinterest and start looking or YouTube. So anytime you might do something different, it could be beneficial for someone else to read if they see that, if it's, you know, something positive. So anyways, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope y'all have a great day. See you next time. Bye. Backyard and you're all fine in the summer. Stayed there for three weeks, where we learned.